Hello and welcome to Behind the Lines. I'm Diane Dayton. I am so excited about the 2223 Fulton Theater schedule and I am with Nicole Hackman. You are the Director of Communications and Advancement. Thanks for being here. I'm so happy to join you. Well, this is so exciting because we've been waiting for some of these <laughs> things, haven't we? Yes. I mean, yes. You've, if, if you've expanded the whole block and mm -hmm. there's it's beautiful. The theater is great and we've been waiting for this first show for how long now? Well, Kinky Boots was uh, the show we were in the middle of when the pandemic happened. So March of 2020, we had done 13 shows and we closed. And so to bring it back, yeah. it's so exciting for us. It's a full circle moment, but also there are so many people in the community that wanted to see that show and had tickets. So we hope everybody comes back and sees the magic of Kinky Boots yeah. as the opener of our main stage season. Yeah, so the dates for that are September 15th through October 16th. That's right. And just tell me your take on this version that you're doing. Well, uh, so this is a co-production with Main State Music Theater. So oftentimes we'll partner with other theaters. And, um, and so the cast has already done the show in Maine, which means their full rehearsal process was there. And then they come here. It is some of the same folks that were in the production in 2020 and then some new folks as well joining okay. us. It happens over a three year process, right? There's, there's change yeah. in everybody's lives. But the okay, so Kinky Boots is about joy. <laughs> yeah. Really, it's about joy and it's about acceptance and it's about um, finding your passion and also finding your um, what grounds you in mm -hmm. your life too, uh, respecting your history and how you move forward. And you know, because this character Charlie, he yeah. inherits his shoe factory yeah. from his father, and yeah. it's not what he wants to do, right. but it ends up being. What makes him a whole person? And he saves it by partnering with 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 somebody you'd never expect him to, with Lola, yeah. uh, the famous yeah. Lola. And they create magic and they bring back joy yeah. to each other, um, but also to everybody else. And so, you know, this show ran on Broadway for years. Mm -hmm. It was Cindy Lauper's first time out as a solo songwriter for a Broadway production. And... Um, Oh, it's just so wonderful. It's You just walk out feeling like you're walking on a cloud of joy. I really. do. It's such a feel-good show, it right? It is. It is. Yeah. I think it gets you so excited. And this is on main stage, it's right? On the main stage. Okay. It is. And we have some nice levels to view this in the theater, don't oh, we? Oh, sure. Sure. If, if, if folks have never been to the Fulton, it seats a little bit over 600, so it's still a very intimate space. Uh, and it has the orchestra and parquet and the mezzanine. Some people actually really love to sit in the gallery, our third mm -hmm. floor, mm -hmm. uh, because you get a bird's eye view, <laughs> yes. um, which is a wonderful way to see how a choreographer envisions because you can see the patterns on stage. Right. So it, it depends on how people like to experience and enjoy theater. And I love the, that fact that you have those options like that. Yeah. That's just great. And it also spans ticket prices too. Everybody, mm -hmm. we want everybody to be able to come see theater. So accessibility is a huge, issue, huge Ab priority for us. Absolutely. Now, after that, November seventeenth through December thirty-first. Oh, it's a classic. It's White Christmas. White Christmas, yes. Irving Berlin's White Christmas, which hasn't been done on the Fulton stage, if I'm remembering correctly, about ten, eleven years. Okay. Um, so. All the songs you know and love, White Christmas. Mm. Um, I love a piano where the piano actually, I think, is going to revolve. You know, it's a huge tap dance number. Yeah. Sisters. Um, uh, oh, what's this? Um, uh, counting. Da, da, when when you uh, counting um, your blessings instead yes. of sheep. Yes. Um, and. Uh, yeah, there's some wonderful songs in it and wonderful dancing. Yeah. It's a wonderful holiday classic. We're so happy to have it. And uh, with our new building, mm -hmm. you know, we expanded a year ago. We opened our new lobby space and all of our other gathering spaces. So this holiday season, we're fully decorating the Fulton again. Oh, so it's wow. going to be, there's some major plans for all kinds of holiday decorations in a much bigger, grander way than we've yet to do because we're actually going to be able to do the whole space. So join us for oh, the holidays. That's going to be great. A yes. place not to be be missed for the holidays. And then after the holidays, January 19th through February 12th, the play that goes wrong. Yeah. I So this is a, is a piece that I know a lot of our friends here in Lancaster might not have ever seen. It was on Broadway for a long time. It is a uh, kind of behind the scenes slapstick farce. It, imagine if everything could go wrong, it does. Um, you know, there, somebody um, is supposed to play somebody who's uh, passed out on the floor and then the actor 
it, it's it's just everything that can go wrong. So they trip on each other. They fall down. The set piece falls apart. You know, um, uh, people forget where they're supposed to go. It's a wonderful laugh out loud play, <laughs> full of every. I mean, just every behind the scenes thing that you can imagine happening. So it does sound like fun. Something we don't want to happen in regular production. Correct. But Correct. <laughs> it will be fun to That's see right. this. That's right. right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Right. Okay. After that, March second through March twenty. Six, the Wiz. Oh, and the music yes, in this. The Wiz. He's on down the road. Oh, right. I remember watching that movie. Mm -hmm. um, and Michael Jackson playing the Scarecrow. Yes. And, you know, it's oh, it's so it's such a wonderful piece of theater. Another one that's joy filled. Yes. You know, it's a wonderful take on the Wizard of Oz, and uh, the Wiz is just. Um, and it's special and colorful and funky and the music is just, it's just great. Yeah, 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 yeah. That definitely can't be missed. Coming up, well, this is going to be amazing too. I can't wait to see how you do this one. The Epic Journey of the Titanic, April 20th through May 21st. Yeah, Titanic was one that was also scheduled in that 2020 season. So we're so happy to be able to finally offer it to our audiences. Yeah. Um, Titanic is the musical is mm -hmm. a really interesting, it's not the movie. It's right. not Jack and Rose. Um, instead, actually, it really focuses on the the relationships uh, from from every class of passenger. So you really get to know people third class, second class, first class, mm. and their stories, why they're traveling. And so because of that investment in all of these people and their stories and, and their journey, you know, it's a tragic story. But you are, um, it, brings, it, it brings Titanic to such... Um, to such life, mm. you're personally invested. And so the history behind that becomes real, I think, for the audiences. And the music is glorious in this wow. show. It's just a huge, big uh, expanse of singing. Mm. So that's a, it's, a, it's a really special piece. Some wonderful character development, yes, right? Yes, exactly, exactly. Oh, that sounds wonderful. And then... June 15th to July 16th. T-Birds, Pink Ladies, and Grease Lightning. It is Grease. Grease, yes, <laughs> Grease, Grease. It's so requested. Okay. It's so requested, and we're finally doing it. And I, I know the plan right now is to make sure that we have just a ton of teenagers, local teenagers in that show, oh, wow. dancing their full faces off, right? So we want, oh, yeah. we're hoping that we just have, um, that we that we give a lot of people the opportunity to be pink ladies and T-Birds. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, Greece is ending our main stage season next summer. Okay, I can't believe it's 2023, I but know. in the 2023 year, yes, we're, yes. we're ending with Greece. Um, it is highly requested, and I think it's just going to be a giant party. Yeah, it sounds like it's yeah. going to be. <laughs> yeah. So we've got some other series that we want to talk about. But for those that have not experienced this new evolution of the theater, there are spaces mm -hmm. that are utilized in many wonderful ways. Right. Tell us about that. So 1852 is mm -hmm. when Fulton Hall was built. So that was 170 years ago that wow. Fulton Hall has been gathering our community, which is such a gift. It's such yeah. a, a stalwart uh, landmark in downtown. And we're so happy to be continuing the tradition of, of gathering our community. But with this expansion, it's the entire city block. So now there are 11 gathering spaces. So we're doing cabarets in our new lobby space, uh, the Hegel Gansorian lobby. Castagna Hall is our new rehearsal space, but we've also mm -hmm. held weddings in there, wow. private dinners, parties. It's a fabulous space. Um, so uh, the Rogers and Associates Producer Circle Lounge. Yes. Um, we have all these wonderful spots that people can, can gather and be. Uh, and one of the other places that I think a lot of people don't know about is the fourth floor studio theater, the Tell Studio Theater. Mm. And that's where we host our Ellen Arnold Groff Studio Series. Okay. And it's the series of uh, more intimate plays for right. people that maybe don't like big musicals or maybe do, but also want the more challenging productions where you go home and you talk about what you're seeing. Okay. So those shows are for Colored Boys, which opens September 8th, mm -hmm. Doubt, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, and also Sheer Madness. Okay. How, what's the seating in that? It depends. It changes a little bit. It's anywhere from 99 to about 115. Okay. All right. So you do have that intimacy mm -hmm. there. But, excuse me, but it changes for every production. So Okay. Um, it's a wonderful, immersive there way you to go. experience theater. That's, what, that's the difference yeah. with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, and I that lobby that. got a huge facelift when we were under construction as well. Okay. It's completely Art Deco. It has its own bar. It's a beautiful space with an outdoor patio. So, okay. yeah. So, check out the fourth floor. Okay. And the website is what now? 
thefulton.org www.thefulton.org and go there you can buy tickets you can buy subscriptions online um, individual tickets and you can read all about these shows that we're talking about today and what i also think is great you can really get a bird's eye view of the seating and pick out yes. seats you too, right? You can see right? the seat map and you can pick seats. And of course the box office is happy to help you. Right. Um, but it's a really great way for you to do a little bit of homework and see where you might mm-hmm. want to be. All those seat maps are on, on the website. Right. The other thing that's on the website is all of our accessibility offerings. Mm. So if you would like to know more about open captioning or our ASL interpreted performance okay. or Spanish interpreted performances, we have that on oh, wow. there as well. And if you have children, uh, grandchildren that want to take theater classes, we have yep. a full academy. So our website is full of information, everything from the history of the building, our academy, accessibility, and then our productions. Okay, that sounds really good. Well, we've got some other shows to talk about, but we're going to take a brief pause. You don't want to miss what we have coming up, so stay with us. Welcome back to Behind the Lines. We're talking about the new season for the Fulton Theater, 22 to 23. And Nicole Hackman is still with us. And Nicole, we just briefly teased them with the Ellen Arnold Groff Studio Series. Let's Mm -hmm. talk a little bit more about these particular shows. September 8th through the 25th is For Colored Boys. For Colored Boys, which is actually uh, a piece... We had our first annual play festival last year. We just mm-hmm. had our second. Okay. Um, and we had playwrights from across the country submit their new works. Uh, it was a focus on diversity, stories of diversity. And the winner of last year's production was For Colored Boys. Mm-hmm. And Brian Keith Wilson is with us. He's the playwright, and he's also directing the piece. Uh, it is a choreo poem. Um, so it's storytelling through dance and spoken word, um, but it really talks about the history and evolution of black history, which okay. of course is American history, yeah. and it's a beautiful piece of theater. Wow. Um, it is a, it is, um, I, don't, I don't have enough words to, to talk about it. It is a um, rich, evocative, challenging mm. uh, story for all of us to experience. Okay. That yeah. sounds wonderful. Yeah, and that, but they were the, uh, it was the play that won last year, so it's yeah. kind of fun to be able to produce Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So then after that, let's see what we have going on here. February 9th to the 26th, Doubt. Doubt. I, Doubt is going to be an interesting one for us to do as well. Mm-hmm. I don't know if people remember them. It was made into a movie. Yes. It's a play and a movie, um, and it's about, uh, faith and challenges yeah. in faith and belief and what w- navigating that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so once again <laughs> something to talk about something to talk about so, that's the goal yeah right? think about talk about after that who's afraid of virginia wolf which is a classic okay you know? yeah it is it is, it's it is. A classic um it's also challenging it talks about it's about marriage and perseverance and um, substance abuse, frankly, mm-hmm. and, and the ways we navigate uh, those challenges sometimes in maybe not the healthiest fashion. Right. Mm-hmm. That's March uh, 23rd through April 16th. And then we have May 18th through June 11th, Sheer Madness. Yes. And for those who don't know what <laughs> Sheer Madness is, <laughs> so Sheer Madness is a whodunit where right. the audience picks the killer. Oh, this is great. It takes place in a beauty parlor <laughs> and it is hilarious uh so that is a after the first three shows we kind of feel like people might need a little bit of laughter <laughs> a little bit of joy yeah right right um, right but sheer madness it finishes our our uh graph studio series in the tell studio theater okay and um but yes the audience needs to have some participation in picking out <laughs> oh that sounds like <laughs> who so the much killer fun. is <laughs> that really sounds yeah. like a lot of fun yeah. <laughs> i like what you do with the family series too this is the eichmann family series and we have let's see november 26th to december 23rd the classic a christmas carol 
And for those that don't know, our family series is a way for our youngest audiences mm -hmm. to be introduced to theater. Yeah. Uh, they're only an hour long. Okay. Um, the audience is encouraged to be participatory. So right. if your two-year-old would like to sing along, Aww. that's okay. We also, if, if your three-year-old needs breaks, that's a, if your 93 year old needs breaks, if, you know, you're, <laughs> it's okay. Um, it's a, it's a much more, um, open, um, space for audience members to, to experience theater and live theater and what okay. that's all about. So they're usually on Saturday mornings around 11 AM okay. and they're on the main stage. Main stage. Mm -hmm. Okay. And on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then coming up, let's see here, March 11th through the 25th, Rapunzel. Rapunzel, and it's a new version of Rapunzel. Oh, okay. Which will be really exciting. All right. That's all I'm going to say, but and it's any Rapunzel. Any other tether cheese? She's got her hair. Okay, she's yeah. got her hair. Yes, of course. All right. But maybe she doesn't need a prince to rescue her. Okay. Maybe she's going to rescue herself. I like how you put this. It's a new <laughs> twist on an old pony. Tail. Tail. That's right. <laughs> okay. That's right. All right. Well, I can't wait to check that out. Then coming up April 29th through May 20th, ugh, Robin Hood. Robin Hood. And this also is has a, is a new piece mm -hmm. uh, written by Randall Frazado, uh, who lives in Lancaster here. And it's a it's it's hilarious. Let's just say that Robin Hood, one of <laughs> it's all the features of Robin Hood. There's an archery tournament. There's all the there's all the people and the characters that you know and love, except Wi-Fi is something that they're looking for as well. <laughs> and there's Nerf guns and there. <laughs> so, you know, so there's it, there's a lot yeah. of silliness in okay. this Robin Hood. Okay. Yeah. That's good. That's yeah. that sounds like a great time to yes. me. <laughs> Following that, June 24th through July 15th, The Wizard of Oz. Yeah, an hour-long version of The Wizard of Oz, oh, which is wow. wonderful. Um, I'm sure that we'll see lots of little Dorothys at that production. Yes. But we hope that people come to The Wiz on the mm -hmm. main stage and then later on come see The Wizard of Oz. Because yes. I think that'll be a really fun uh, way to experience both productions and, yeah. and, then, and, and see how that story is okay. applicable for all of us, Dorothy's journey. Oh, I think this is great. So when you talk about this family series, you're talking about it being open to the whole family. Whole so family. basically whatever age your child is. is Absolutely. Yeah. Is bring them along. Okay. And sometimes, you know, a four year old can be a little scared of the bad guy. Yeah. And that's okay. They're right. it's they're meant to be um, experienced in a way that's safe. Yes. And um, we often do sensory friendly performances for our for our little ones who, mm -hmm. you know, we always we try to provide that through the season. Okay. Um but you know, if if the bad guy seems a little scarier than they might want, they can go take a break, Absolutely. and they can watch it outside in the lobby. There's yep. there's TVs all over the lobby yep. for our youngest audiences, right? And those who, whoever needs a break to go see. All right, the so show. there are ways to accommodate. Absolutely, which is really Absolutely. good. We want young children to be introduced to live theater mm -hmm. to start that journey of being audience members, and so yeah. this is a wonderful way to do that. I like the packages that you have available too, because you make it affordable. Thank you. Yeah, so yeah. I think that's really wonderful what you do. Being a subscriber, and you mm -hmm. can just subscribe to all three seasons. Um, you know, you can do a whole big package or you can just subscribe to the family series. Yeah. It's a, a couple of, of, of positives. One, it is much less expensive to subscribe. Okay. Um, you're looking at a up to 46% off if you, instead of buying single tickets, okay. individual tickets. Right. But also, and I know this is so true for all of us, it's in your calendar. Mm -hmm. It's you've planned going, right? So you don't miss shows. You so many yeah. people think, "Oh, I missed it, and I wanted to see it." Yes. Well, if you buy a subscription, and the other benefit mm -hmm. is, if you say, "You know what? I thought I could go that March. I can't." You can change it. There's no fee to change your tickets. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So you just call the box office, and they'll move you, and that's a wonderful thing too. Yeah. So you have been living and breathing for years this expansion and yes. things that are going on at the full. What don't we know that we haven't covered that you want to make sure that we know? Oh, goodness gracious. We were under construction for three years. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if people know that, that we started construction with uh, taking out the sandbag system on stage and making it fully automated. Oh, okay. Which was a big benefit for the production side of the right. theater. Uh, that required a lot of steel, um, but historically we did preserve three of our sandbag hemp rope systems, okay. so that that's preserved for for future generations to see how that how that worked. Yeah. Um, so that's a fun fun thing that people might not know. Okay. Um, and so we have 16 actor apartments, so a lot of our guest artists yeah. live 
have yes. on campus with us. Wow. So if it's storming, they don't ever have to leave the building. They can actually just go straight to work. Um, and then we have other housing. So some of our actors want to go, but some of our actors love being right there yeah. and being able to go, work, go to work in two minutes. <laughs> yes. yes. Um, so that's really fun. But we have um, a really incredible 131,000 square feet of space yeah, that's amazing. that we use for our production staff, our artists, our administrative mm -hmm. staff. Uh, we employ uh, up to about 70 people, uh, depending on what, what we've got going on, you know, with part-time right. work. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a, we have a, we, we're a bustling hive of activity yeah. on that city block. Yeah. So uh, where do you get your actors and what is that process for each of these performances so and productions? Our, our actors come from all over the place. Okay. We do have a lot of um, local talent. It's really fantastic. Yeah. And actually a lot of folks during the pandemic left New York and moved to Lancaster. Isn't that a lot of actors. Wow. Um, better quality of life, more space. And there are a lot of opportunities for performing around here. Mm -hmm. And it's three hours to go to New York City, easy on the train, yes, you know, so that's, exactly. a, that's a gift. Um, but we do do auditions. I will say that COVID has changed the process of auditions. We used to go, Mark Robin, our executive <laughs> artistic producer, went to audition, I think it was Newsies, and he saw 3,000 people in two days. Oh my heavens. That is not what happens much <laughs> anymore because wow. of COVID. You know, those those yeah. regulations and gathering large folks like that has changed. Yes. Um, so a lot of people send in video submissions Okay. And then we'll do callbacks in person. We still hold our local auditions, and that's also on the website. Wow. Um, but a lot of video submissions, which is great, because somebody living in Atlanta who mm -hmm. might not be able to be in New York and go to our auditions in person can right. do a video submission now, and that's becoming so normalized Yes, that that's kind of a gift, too. Yeah. Boy, yeah. this really is exciting with what you have coming up. The whole theater the different spaces and the fact that we can utilize these for, like you were saying, for a wedding or a private function yes. as well. Yes, absolutely. And you have various things going on throughout the year too. We do. We have a lot of concerts and we have a lot of events happening. Um, and But once again, it's it was started as a gathering space yep. and we want to continue that. Yeah. Um, so there's a, we have a whole events team and yeah, we're, we are up and running the majority of our of the year now um, okay. which is a change the Fulton used to close for the summer and yeah. we closed Jersey Boys August 7th and yep. had our play festival the two weeks later and here we go that's right um, so we're rocking and rolling it's just non-stop it's non-stop it's non-stop <laughs> non <-stop. laughs> non non that's right that's and right. to find it we can go once again to that website which is really easy the Fulton.org okay and then we can find out more about the shows, pick out seats, yep. subscriptions, and just all that good stuff. Absolutely. And we can then contact people there as well yes. through that. There's contact yes. lists too. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you for taking time today. Oh, thank you for having yeah, me. Yeah, and teasing us with this fabulous season that's coming up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for joining us today too. I'm Diane Dayton with Behind the Lines, reminding you to look behind the lines. You might be surprised what you find.